case, let's get on with it. It's Dave the Diver. Really fun game. Not much more to it than that. There's a lot of different gameplay elements to it, but it's very zen in everything it does, and even the sushi waiting minigame I can forgive, because it still has plenty of charm going for it. What do you have to say, Cobra? Just waiting on a package. And perhaps there's some kind of giant squid we can take care of. Who knows? Blue seashells and brown seashells are needed for Ellie. At least she pays us for it. And there is a signal that I've yet to check out. Let's do it. We've yet to die underwater. Will that change today? Surely not. Dying underwater in this game is like dying in a dungeon in Reset here. You don't get to bring a lot back with you. Hang on, didn't I help this dolphin last time? Maybe it's a recurring occurrence? Or are we going to find out something a bit more insidious about these dolphins? So, reacquaint myself with the controls? Alright, good. X to fire. Or X to ready. I think it's R2 to fire. Oh my days. Who's catching all the dolphins? Now, I've never tasted dolphin before. Is it any good? Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, and away. One, two, three, four, five, six, and away. Be free, my pink friend. I definitely need a better weapon than this. Yeah, is there anything remarkable about the taste of dolphin? Or is it a problematic animal to feast upon? <laughs> well, I do like it when I'm actually richly rewarded for my efforts. Okay, that's all well and good, but let's go diving. We've got work to do. Dolphin is smarter than 50% of people do not eat them. Why is that something to concern myself with whether or not I should eat someone? Uh, something. I do like getting that scooter. The extra speed is welcome. And we should have vastly boosted the amount of stuff we can carry around with us. You gotta remember, air is also health. And we got pretty trashed last time, trying to hunt down. I think it was a shark. Oh, easy now. Get me my crock pot. It's weird that we get oil and soy sauce and whatnot in the sea, well, in the lake, and we use that to serve to our customers. I hope they don't find out what we're up to. Easy does it now. A nice upgrades, but I'm not sure they're really what I'm here to get. I don't know if those count as blueprints or not. There's a lot I don't know about the game yet, but I'm sure I'll have it all sussed out. That's what I was really looking for, though. Ooh, Crivens. Good thing Dave's a big guy.
It's all because of the big soy sauce shipwreck of 1983. I'm sure that inspired future wrecks like that big oil slick. It was a BP oil slick, wasn't it? All I remember is the jokes. The UK... I know, is it? The US invades a country for its oil. The UK invades a country with oil. Alright, one more brown seashell. We're practically done with it. Oh, hello. How about you just don't be a problem? Oh, easy now. As Dave pointed out, we get less from a haul when we shoot it to death. So perhaps I should be a wee bit careful in that. Move aside the pile of rocks with some kind of tool. Cobra will have an idea very well. What do you mean, come up from now? I got work to do. Ooh. Maybe it's better subtle horror than we saw in Dredge. Come on, come a little closer. Wait, isn't it a terribly bad idea to poison something I plan on eating? Okay, never mind, we'll take it anyway. But it did show, like, a skull on it as if to say poisoned, right? Who's gonna eat this thing? It's also weighing a whole lot. How's the game so far? Oh, I'm enjoying it plenty. It's certainly a lot of different games put together, but it's just so overwhelming with that soul and passion that you can't help but love it. Grab everything I can before making my way back because we're greedy and greed is good. Uh, maybe not tangle with that thing, though. That thing gave me a run for my money. Although... Although... Part of me hungers for revenge. Because of your limited arcs of operation... It can be a royal pain to line up shots. Now gimme, give gimme give all your worth. Hmm, I could get more out of you, couldn't I? Am I willing to ditch any of this stuff? I don't know how the long nose saw shark meat compares to the great Barracuda. But it's got the extra star, so I'm willing to discard you in favor of harvesting more of you. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> see you later. Uh oh, maybe see you sooner. It's okay. He gets a nice little nibble of Dave, and that's okay. Yeah, that's the way to look at it. Rank 6 beats rank 3. That's got to be good. <laughs> he looks so happy. I see people stuff is madness, but... We need to get some kind of underwater explosives and we'll clear all that out nicely. Put a little trust in the sea's power. Okay. But how do we get our bombs? Where's more shoe when we need him? <laughs> yeah. 
And we're gonna find drone materials in the ocean. Carried down by ocean currents. Okay. I'll be down there plenty, but sure. Echo Watcher, a mission based app made to protect the environment. And we're about to blow things up underwater. As usual, we're just getting used, but hopefully the reward is worth it. Eco Watcher app, gather points, get rewards. Apparently, that was the longest we spent underwater. That doesn't sound about right, even the best depth. That also doesn't found, sound right. Hope I didn't get some uh, some stuff not saved. And in the end, I barely caught any fish. I'll definitely need to go down there on more of a fishing based exercise. We're looking for. Microchip, motor, and camera lens. And I also want to see what this Eco Watcher is all about. Do we have to choose these, or are these just things that get done automatically? Shells, starfish. I've got plenty of this stuff, so I can just deliver it. And what are our rewards here? Eco Bracelet. There was a slot for charms, perhaps that's one of them. So if I just turn you in. I don't think we're using this stuff anyway. And I suppose I could just deliver the skull. God knows what else I'm going to do with it. But I need a foot bone and a leg bone as well. Alright, how hard could it be? Right, once more onto the breach. Microchip, motor, camera lens. Actually, am I able to track some of these things on the mission tracker? That could be handy. Well, maybe, maybe not, but I can't check my phone underwater. It's not a waterproof variety. Oh, okay. Damn you, urchin. Those missions also have bounties to kill fish, it seems. I don't tend to be thrilled on those kinds of games as a service style uh, additions. We'll see how it plays. Oh, wow, you. You ain't going down easy. I'll take my sauce, sauce, and keep on moving. Ah, good day, Agent. It is a good day. A day I'm playing Dave the Diver, or good games in general, is of course a good day. The sooner we can forget about Amazing Frog, the bit What in the world just hit me? Hmm. I sure I'm catching a lot of things that aren't fish. I hope my friend isn't going to be too displeased with my... With my progress here. You. Come to me. Actually, maybe I shouldn't be going for you. You're a real surface level fish. And what I need is some good fish. Oh my god, could you just go down? I'm hungry. I feel like I should have a, a weapon that was upgraded long ago. There we go. That doesn't even weigh that much, that's fine. I just want to have something that I can serve at the restaurant this evening. Lest I come back empty handed. This game got me thinking about sushi. There's a sushi restaurant in Budapest to look forward to checking out when I'm over there. And hello! Sniper rifle gun! The Red Angel of War penetrates targets! Oh, I can get behind that. But now I need a target worth hitting with you.
Easy now. Don't get blasted into that. I want that O2, but not before I get those black fish. The world? I think that was a clamshell, right? And I think it gave me air. Alright, one underwater microchip get. It's gotta be good. Where do the black fish go? Aha! There they go. Trying to be too clever for me, are you? Feels like we're getting everything we need. Oh, give me that! Give me that! Oof. So, if you don't claim them, they become one with the ocean. Better keep that in mind. Dave, you've been tossed around like yesterday's garbage. That's nice that they keep coming back to me, though. I'm having a very hard time taking you out with this. I need a much better gun. A harpoon gun at that. This is the ticket right here. An enhanced thingamajigger. It still only does three damage. There we go. Got you like that. Be some good fishy dishes for us. I was hoping the... Uh, Underwater currents would be a bit rarer than they are, though. It's throwing me around all too much. Pink seashell get? What was this stuff again? Ah, yes, oxygen filled clams. Good old Dave, all he needs is a good breath of fresh air, or in this case, perhaps very stagnant air, and it's good to keep going. You get out of here. Everything we could need. We still need some more of these bones for the research. I didn't see an extraction point, but it should be relatively clear going to get back up. I don't think I've seen Jake successfully reel in one fish. Well, now you have. Was it everything you hoped it would be? Well, you really get blasted around in this. Alright, that is absolutely more like it. I love this booster. Especially when I'm as overweight as I am. Although 20 out of 19 doesn't seem like a lot. Do all these different kind of fish exist? Are you able to catch them all and have them edible in real life? I don't know much about much when it comes to the ocean, so I couldn't answer that for you. But don't these sound reasonable enough? Angler fish, they certainly exist. Glass and kelp exist. Humphead parrotfish. Okay, if there was going to be a made-up fish, it would be that. 
Look online for a hump head parrot fish and tell me if it exists or not, pretty please. I think we're all dying to know. Jeez, it is really blowing me about. Maybe I should do my extraction whilst I'm so overweight. It is real, says Matimia. Well, there we go. We're dealing with real fish. One of the dangers of this game is that playing it can make you really hungry. It certainly did when I was playing it before. Fortunately for me, I just had my lunch, so I'm a-okay. Why would you only eat the fins of a shark? Surely if its fins are delicious, much more of it will be delicious too. God damn all this getting blown apart. You get out of here. Wow, well, you really, really want a piece of me, don't you? thought after a wee bit of shank in the land, he wouldn't want anything to do with me anymore. But I guess it's eat or be eaten down here. Eat or peacefully coexist down here. Oh, what? We don't eat seahorses. Blue seashell. Do I need any more blue seashells? Probably not. And we have reached the maximum. Maximum appears to be about one and a half of your carry capacity, but now I need to go. Either straight up 65 meters or find an extraction point. Either is fine. And I'm pretty confident right now. I got back up air, so even if I do get cornered and butchered by some near do well, shouldn't be too hard for Portly Dave to make his way out. And yeah, what, uh, probably awful timing on my part. I do dredge just before the DLC comes out, although I did wait on that. And then just now there's been an announcement of a dredge and Dave the Diver crossover. How's that going to work? Will it affect both games? I don't know. But it's kind of interesting. Alright, extract me. Also, what's this stuff? Kajime. I think we've gotten Kajime before, so let's not worry about it. <laughs> so happy! How long do you have to wait on depressurization? Can't be that long. Ooh, maybe we'll get something that's uh, able to stop us getting blown around. Dave does not look happy, though, does he? And I'm looking forward to having a red sniper rifle myself. The extra range was delicious, as was the penetration. What? I'm curious about that silver ball. Alright, what do we have under staff here? And hire them straight away, really? Kyoko. Cooking, serving, procure, and appeal? They give us numbers, but I don't know what they're out of. Well, I know they're out of 35. I'll take you. And for some reason, you don't cost anything. <laughs> now that I can get behind. Kitchen to cook more quickly, dining area to serve food. I was going to suggest kitchen because we're kind of slow on the cooking, but okay. Things will get tough without staff to help once more customers start coming in. There's training and hiring. Very well. Well, let's sort out our menu. Why open when we don't have menu ready? 
sorted by price, you just shove it all in. Unless I can enhance it. I got a lot of this angler stuff, right? More money, more better. That's good. Who's a pixel artist for this? Don't let anyone tell you pixel art is dead. Now we've got loads of that parrot fish stuff, so it's no problem to upgrade you as well. I can upgrade you again, you say? Well, it makes it tastier and more valuable, but costs all of my parrot fish. I'll just deploy you as is. I need to actually have food to serve to my people. Well, that's right, we went bronze on something or other, so we're able to get that extra slot. Okay, more things on offer, more better, potentially. Research. Mmm, yellowback. Fusilia? Boiled down in soy sauce. Ah, yeah, I'm kind of keen on some better side dishes going here. See a good reason not to research all of it though. We've got the points, may as well use them. Can I not change the base and drink available though? Hmm. Gosh, so many options. And where's my silver bowl? Does so anybody know if changing up the decor does anything other than, well, other than nothing? Or is it pure horse armor? How much do you think is an appropriate amount to spend on sushi, Jake? I've mostly had bad, cheap sushi. Um, um, 50 to 100 euros for some damn good sushi in Europe. 20 euros for amazing sushi in Japan. Who would have thought? All right, let's get to work. Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Chaos begins now. How do we run again? Okay, L2. Let me get you that. I've perfected every one of these. Does that end today? Yes. Oh, no, okay. Didn't look perfect to me. Good enough. This is nice. I like when things transition into a bit more management rather than having to manually do this. As long as nobody needs a drink from me, but man, we're running dry in the kitchen there. Good food's worth waiting on, folks. Don't get too impatient on me. Look at these people are buying the basic rubbish. Too basic. Get them both. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
the one missed meal because of my incompetent staff member. Pathetic. We're out of everything else already. Wow, that didn't... Oh, I didn't put them onto auto re thingamajigger, did I? Damn. That's a shame. I don't know why that's not on by default. Probably lost out on a lot of profit because of that. Yeah, as Ninja said, there's good sushi outside of Japan if you look for it, but it will cost you a lot of money. Oh, a shop, eh? This game certainly loads a lot of different things on you real early. I just want to zen out and uh, go diving. Even so, that rock pile is already history. And what can we get here? Auxiliary items? Sell items at Cobra Shop. Ooh, maybe I can sell that bolt I found. Purchased items can only be used for one day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm never a fan of buying one-off items. <laughs> All right, now we're talking management. Won't be long until we're not lifting a finger ourselves. Yeah, you get to another thing. Okay, come on. All right, let's check these out. First off, management. At least we made money. I'm not happy about making uh, anything less than tons of money. Kint Cool says, "Hello, I'm new on Twitch. Well, welcome." This is not a typical place to come to first time on Twitch. I like to think it's a bit more nuanced around here, for better or for worse. So, plenty of options, but I need to actually set them onto auto refill or else no one's going to be buying them. Couldn't I hire some people from here? No, it looks like I have to do that from the kitchen and probably should have done that from the kitchen. I can call people up just to annoy them. How's Satoshi doing? Still working on collecting his cards. Pokemon too slippery for him. I feel like that's calling up one of uh, Professor Oak's aides to find out how you are. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Still need more to get those crafted. Okay, I don't think there's much to worry about here, but I'm a little more curious about the Cobra Shop. Under all oh, right. Well, we can find these already. And that's only 10%. Not even worth the money. I rather like my money for me. And there was something I wanted to spend it on. What was it though? It wasn't eco water, but I should turn these things in. It's all yours. And I had hoped I'd had enough to get my little reward there, but it seems no. Oh, we'll get there. This I'm more interested in. We have the Dosh. Not sure I need that depth limit just now. Oh, this is what I absolutely need. My harpoon gun not being terrible. Because it certainly is terrible right now. Ten should be sufficient. Weight, though. It's all about the weight. Alright, let's go for it. Jake, you are the highest Dave the Diver Detreamer right now. Well, yay. I've been the I've been the highest many game streamer by now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Dave the Diver is anything to toot my horn about. I can't imagine this is a game that gets streamed lots. I'm never going to be the biggest Slay the Spire streamer, for one. Seeing those Baylor streams, he gets like 2,000 people in. 
I don't know what I'd do at that point. That is too many people in one stream. I'd have to fake out. I'd have to bring up, um, I don't know, Amazing Frog or something until about a thousand people go away. If chat is ever too hectic, the fake outs are always there. I don't necessarily have them prepared, but it's very quick and easy to fire up Draken. I don't know, yeah. It would have to be something that definitely drives people away, though. It might take Draken a wee while before people realize just how awful it is and that they don't want to stick around. Priority one is to blow things up, but you looking at me? You are looking at me, aren't you? Well, that put you to sleep. Fine, I'll, I'll get shanking then. Oh, that didn't. That did not last long. There we go. Dusky grouper. And we're led to believe that is indeed a real fish. And this should be another one of the shark bones we needed for research. Although I think we already have foot bone. You don't need to shank it when they're asleep, you can just pick them up. Wow. Fascinating. Why were they being put to sleep? Is it because of my harpoon tip? 45% instant sleep chance. I'm going to assume that doesn't work for the big buggers like this. Oh. Can I just grab you? Oh, wow. Take the whole thing? R2 to activate. Okay. Really, I don't want to do that just yet. It's after me. At this rate, it won't be the only one after me. Can I? Oh, easy now. Oh boy, I'm, I'm gonna die if I don't take it easy here. Get me back to my O2. It was down here, right? Right? It's a piece of me, doesn't it? Oh god! Oh, oh god! I think I am going to be meeting my maker! from the bomb, sure. Mm, is there going to be oxygen in there, Chief? <laughs> oh, do I dare? I mean, I'm kind of dying here. This seems dangerous. Keeps, uh... Oh, oh, this isn't costing me air. That's handy. Not a natural pillar of mysterious characters. Good. Awesome looking swole god here. 
a warrior king. Yeah, saved by the story. I could have extracted there, but then I wouldn't be able to check all this out. I have a camera? Take pictures, check your objective in the top. Oh man, <laughs> like there wasn't enough objectives already in the game. Alright. There you go. What do you mean failed? Looked fine to me. I think we should be making our way back up by now. Not quite a huge haul, but I'm very keen on not dying at all. Don't gank me now, fish. I mean, there is the opportunity to keep going, but nah. We got the goodies. Let's get going. So thinking about it, I could have put that fish to sleep and grabbed it. O2 wasn't going down in that special chamber, but... It would have gone down the moment I stepped out, which it did. Hmm, I played a game where we play as these people. Ship Simulator Extreme had one of these eco madness campaigns, or at least missions. I think we hosed down polluters with water. <laughs> Watson, a good strong name. Many different things. I really thought this would be a lot more just fish up by day, serve sushi by night, but it's throwing everything in a kitchen sink at us. I do, however, want to see if I can sell that silver bowl. Yeah, there we go. Only good for selling. Excellent. More money, more better. Is there anything else I found that's only worth selling? Yeah, there we go. I feel like I should get a bit more than 500 coins for some lovely gold bar from the dolphin, but it's the best we can do. Four is worth good. Used to craft weapons, though. I assume pearls are one of those things that you can only really sell at the shop. Yeah, go on then. More money to invest. Mm. I'm not interested in this though. Mm, still can't get this. But with the dosh I have... More weight? Yeah, I'd like to catch a ton of fish and bring a lot of crap back. It's got to be the massive cargo box. Once more. Fishing while scuba diving is strictly forbidden in most countries, really? Why? Seems like an oddly specific thing to block. 
They don't want your every man being able to get his own sustenance, no doubt. Uh, you know what, my regular knife is so crap, I got no problem getting the squeaky hammer. Putting fish to sleep seems rather powerful. Come on, sleep. Did Pufferfish not go to sleep or something? Come on. Oh, wait. Wait, it says tranquilize. But it just says chance. There we go. Come to me. Puffer fish are immune, immune while puffed. There we go. They also shanked me a little bit, which I'm not keen on. There we go. Grabbing them whole seems pretty good for me. But getting close enough to do that seems a little rough. Lot non-lethal trank. High grade. They tranquilize in seven seconds. Yes. You want to try this out for me, sunshine? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yoink. We had one of you guys before. Come on, I'm hungry for everything in this big blue trawler. Sadly, I don't have a lot of ammo for this thing. Also, what is a normal fish? Sensor bomb? Causes a powerful explosion. Deals damage... Okay, good for them. Could already do with some oxygen though. Come here, fish. I'm going to get you. Squeaky, squeaky. It said plus three, but it only gave me plus two. I guess we have a limited capacity here. Ah, but we don't have limited O2 with this around. Good. Wait, what? They deal substantial damage, these cotton boxing gloves. Can I put this thing to sleep? I guess we're about to... Oh, maybe I should grab some oxygen before I engage with you, but... How normal do you consider yourself? It looks like it has the malice on it. Am I really going to catch the whole thing? Doesn't look like it's going to sleep, though. Mm. Starting to think you're not a normal fish. You are too dangerous for me to get close to. I would do well to gain a wah. Gets caught in the net. Captures seven fish at the same time. Guess I could give that a go. Ooh, 
in that case. Yeah, get the multi fish together at once. That's the real ticket. Oh dear lord, I bet you're gonna have your filthy way with me, shark friend. Nope, 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 that does not look worth my life. But maybe I could just leave you with this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do I even have the air to get out of here? I doubt it. Could be a bad, bad day to be Dave the Diver. I'm sure this is someone's nightmare. Oh no! I <laughs> always gotta watch your oxygen. That I do. Oh well, it's bound to happen eventually. The question is what's worth keeping. Hmm, I wonder if I keep the upgrades that I found. Let's grab you, I think. Rank 3. Rank 3. You don't want to be dashing when running out of air, is that true now? I guess it's got to be the highest star, highest rank, and that'll be our Barracuda. Well, you live and learn. Besides, we've got all the leftover fish to still sell. <laughs> he doesn't look so happy. There was an attempt, Cobra. But the shark spooked me. And we do keep the upgrades. Wonderful. Alright, all wrapped up. Yeah, I'm, uh, I was thinking it was a pike too. To dare to use new ingredients. A lack of respect. That's what all we do. That's all we do here. Passed out underwater before we had to get something specific. The grapes and jellyfish. I should be able to do that. Easy peasy. We've already gone far beyond that. So many different things have just let me off the leash for one. I need to get some more. St oh! Yeah, no, we can still add staff to the kitchen and we do need to prepare things faster. However, we need to hire first. Hmm. At a level higher than current rating. I don't want to spend money if I can avoid it, but... Let's put out a TV ad. Otherwise, let's check out that menu. All the best stuff at the top. 
I would like to upgrade, but I clearly need to have more things to serve my people. Yeah, I am at a lack of understanding why auto supply isn't just the norm for everything. Maybe there are situations where I want to sell a specific amount of something, but God knows what that would be. Alright. Only opening for the evening, I'm too exhausted. Well, I used to work any hour of the day. Good old security. Quite like early morning work, because then you could be done by uh, early to mid-afternoon. Then all is well. Couldn't help but notice that our new employee is not serving green tea. Is pouring this too advanced a technique for you. You're not cleaning up. Well, we've all had those colleagues that just don't do anything. <laughs> Meanwhile, it feels like I'm doing everything. Easy money. Although it doesn't feel like we made that much money. Auto supply means one meal of each type is always wasted unless you run out of ingredients. So it can be bad for expensive fish. One meal of each type is always wasted. Ah, so he always prepares one in advance. I guess? I'd just rather think less rather than think more. Besides, going out and catching fish is really fun, so no problem doing more of that. You ingredient. <laughs> there might be some frightening sea people curse. <laughs> Go for it, Dave. We got two slots for this stuff. We're like a Dominion's five character. Two misc slots. Survive for a certain period after running out of Oxshaw. I could have done with that, couldn't I? <laughs> Twice born Dave. Get more slots. He's got to be like a size 3 or size 4 unit, right? They might twice born into something really good. Yeah, I did notice some updates from UTBW on the names list. Always good to have, especially with Dominion 6 around the corner. Hopefully it's perfectly moddable and we can put that to good use. Alright, alright. Still looking for that white spotted jellyfish. And apparently I need to call Duff. Sure. <laughs> Mm. 
A lot of things go missing around here. Alright, how hard could it be? Could I also kindly turn in some Eco Watch stuff? Almost. Still need those pink seashells and Kajime. I mean, in the end, I just grab whatever I see down there. So hard. How hard could it be? Remove jellyfish. Ah, that's easily done as well. Alright, unless you've got something amazing for me, and I'm not talking about conversation, give me the shop first. The trigger bomb. Ooh, maximum capacity plus 10 kilos. You know, that would probably pay for itself. Sold. Oh, but I think it's an item, meaning I have one fewer item slot, right? Ah, the fishing goes well, Protozomac. Ignore uh, Dave almost dying. God, do I actually have to fight you? Oh, good lord. Well, good thing I've got gun. Not sure I was really up for killing people today, but... Could I shank you while we're at it? Yeah, there we go. Haha. <laughs> We got some foreign meat for today's menu. Don't worry, I'm sure they're just uh, injured. You're taking a dive. Yeah, they can swim, swim well for people who've been shot twice and shanked many times. There's a lot of meat on a human corpse. It's a lot of sushi we could serve. And whilst I've never tasted human meat, I can't imagine that it's so pungent that we can't cover it over with some wasabi and soy sauce and vinegar and whatnot. Ah, oh, old charm, but there's no equipping when we're underwater. Alright, we need that white spotted jellyfish for our good friend, otherwise we're good to go. What do we have here? A bang stick. Powerful electrical discharge. Only could have been using this against uh, our friends down there. Oh, okay. I, I can't take them when they're stunned. I wonder what the point of it is then. Need this Kajime though. Gotta be a touch careful. Remember I died to lack of air mere moments ago. Ooh, sniper rifle. Slightly on the hunt for some air here. <laughs> Red meat's back on the menu. Well, see, I like that. OK, 
Come over here, sunshine. I'm hungry. Oh, I'm certain I could mash faster than that, but I have given up on mashing games. I refuse. I have mashed enough in my life. Wow, you got away from me there. You can deploy the box. Maybe I don't understand how the box works. Acquired items can be stored inside, and stored items will automatically be retrieved upon leaving the water. Ooh! I did not read how that worked. I assumed it just gave me plus 10 carry capacity. I assumed so wrong. Oh well, once I have 10 kilos of stuff, I may as well just dump it in there. Basic rifle. Nah, I not want to have sniper rifle to hand. Did that say clownfish? Sure. I mean, with these boxing gloves, I can surely take them on. Alright, well, I got my box, so I can surely fill it up with 10 kilos worth of stuff now. And then there's no need to worry. They really fall down in quality when I give them the old one, two. Well, I never got that, uh, that puffy fish thing, did I? Ah, the big man demands his fish. You're new? Well. Oh, well done for me. <laughs> We're just tenderizing it. Mm. That's a way to look at it. I'm not sure the customers will see it the same way, though. Ooh, absolutely wanted this then. gonna get them, I'm gonna get them fresh. I wonder if I just line up my shots particularly well here. Not sure if that counted as well enough. Why even bother? We can just box the jellyfish to death. 
Let's not be too gung-ho though, right? That oxygen doesn't last forever. Let's try and make our way over to another oxygen tank. I got plenty of space left over for more of them. now. No, look the right way, you fool. Alright, this could go bad if I don't find some oxygen or clams over here, but surely we'll be fine. Surely we'll be fine. Early will be fine. All right, we can continue the search. This jellyfish are easy and plentiful. I wonder how much value they have. even better. Emergency. It's like those blood potions that we go off and slay the spire. Boy, would we be out of luck without those. I guess spoilers for yesterday's slay the spire run. But it was pretty great. Do I want it? Yes, I do. Come and have a go. Whoa! Okay. Man, I am sick of being blown around down here. It sounded like they had some kind of solution for me. Alright, that's my lot. Time for extraction. Where was extraction again? Heart of the Cards was not with you. Two out of three cards you needed, utterly bottom decked. Yeah, and one of those two cards I had two of, and both were bottom decked. I just had no draw at all. Oh well, that's the way it goes sometimes. The thing you gotta do is prepare yourself a hand so good that you can handle times when the heart of the cards is not on your side. Mm -hmm. Two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, yoink. Titan trigger fish get. I wonder just how much more weight we can come back with. Maybe I could grab a few more and then use that extraction. Especially if I can take them whole. We do like, we do like getting them whole and fresh. The main downside is the ammo capacity on this weapon is laughable. And I'm not laughing. Four, five, six, seven, yoink. Who else wants to become one with me? I only got one more of these. You look lucky. Three, four, five, six, and there we go. Arlequin. Just raking the ocean clean. Okay, we've got our full load. Let's head back.
Don't know if I'll come back to it though. On the one hand, I do have a bit of the slight desire to beat it with every character on A20, but on the other hand, yeah, there's 50 floors you gotta go through. Sometimes those fights can become really tedious. Because they're not brain dead either. You still have to keep thinking all the time. And that can be kind of exhausting. What I just want to do is watch other people play. We've had so many armchair warriors during Slay the Spire. Surely some of you can show us your vast intellect. If you notice what I'm doing wrong, draw order, surely you can show us how it's really done. Right, trouble calming down. Since you found it, you'll reward. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nicest man called Duff. That's not the only ship we've seen down there as well, though, so more to cut. I've never been one for figurines or models. I, I do not see the value in them. Well, I guess the value would be in selling them to people that are gaga for them, but I am not. Ooh, ooh, I am sorely tempted by that hush dart. Being able to just put everything to sleep sounds amazing. I'll stream it when my computer is back operational, if at least one per- I'll be watching it, Shiliax. Don't you worry, girly. Plus, there's always the self-promotion role if you want to shill yourself. Hmm. Wow, finding a whole bunch of these is just free money? They make a whole lot selling my lead, but surely, surely Duff is the way to go with that. Hang on. Is that Duff with some kind of animal ears on his head as the face of his own gun shop? And why does one need starfish? Mm, possibly to make the tranquilizing. I wonder if these can be upgraded, you see. Its magazine is just so tiny. Painfully tiny, but I do like taking things whole. Mmm. <laughs> he really is living the life there, isn't he? He doesn't care what other people think, and that is one of the most powerful things one can do. Anyway, I need an orange starfish, however you cut it, to get myself that hush dart, and I'll be having that hush dart. Otherwise... Oh, well, maybe I'm going to need another one of those red ones at that rate, since I just threw them away. Yes, I do. Red and orange, then. need a lot of orange starfish. I wonder where they are. Between 0 and 130 meters, apparently. So close to getting my lovely reward. Mm. More air, more better. The guy has no care about hiding his power level. He's straight up Super Saiyan 3. He doesn't care what anyone else thinks. So mad respect. Indeed. Alright, do we get anything for sh showing him all these cards? Look to be a lot of different things. Oh, wow, super, super rare cards here. Looks to be a cutoff for getting silver and gold, but no indication of a reward for it. But it's, it's nice to know that I get something for catching them, because really, if the game would just slow down, I would love to just go down and rake the ocean clean. But right now I have the opportunity to do exactly that. Ooh, it says purchased. Do I get to use that on both of my... Both of my dives? I guess we're going to find out. Is that what you think of Nicky? No, I've met Nicky. Uh, he does not have the girth that our man Duff there has. Nicky was over at, uh, at a meetup some many years ago by now, actually. I have never seen anybody so slow at ordering pizza, ever. People almost starved thanks to Nikki. Come on, 
Come on. There we go. Give me my crock pot. Easy money. I saw Nicky in Berlin. He looked scared. Yeah, he usually is. With good reason. Okay, so I don't get the box for the second time around. Okay. I think you're somehow hitting me from there. Or you're able to pop out that bottom part as well. Either way, it's madness. Also gotta remember these starfish are important to me now. Brazil scarier than Berlin. Do we have people around who have been to both Brazil and Berlin? I have been to neither. One of the things I did when I left Paradox was also pull out of the Paradox PDX Con in Berlin. That left a few people unhappy, but you know who didn't leave unhappy? Me. Starfish more better. I feel like I'm getting starfish, but not a lot of fish, but I'm interested in taking my fish kind of whole. Can I ever get you, I wonder? Can I just, like, thwunk you? Can I go for the Nez home run batting? Seems not. Regrettable. Although, have I tried just shooting you in the face? This is really soothing and zen, just going around here, harvesting nature's bounty. I spotted that. Oxygen as well, don't think I want to be having it. I don't think I've gone far right enough though. I don't know who found the accommodation they stayed in, but boy, did the chat live in the worst quarters. Things, how bad could it have been? I think I will take this while I'm here. Yoink. Oh well. If you need accommodation, you know old Jakey's good for it. At least he did in Sweden. Oh, okay, apparently I hadn't had that pierogi before. Probably a lot of these little crummy fish that I haven't had any of. Dave is something else if he could just swing a bat like that underwater, though. Come on. Take them out unnecessarily. That thing looks different. Oh god, poor thing. I've been to both, I can say that Rio is probably worse. Hmm. I'm perturbed by your lack of confidence in that. I mean, my only knowledge of Rio comes uh, secondarily from my cousin's awful time there. She did end up leaving Rio. Not before making a right tit of herself, of course. area is perhaps a bit more limited horizontally than I thought. It's 
got that little skull on it as if to say this is dangerous to eat. But surely my man Bancho isn't going to be serving any dangerous food. He'll cut a rat with poison. Also, that poor fish is bleeding. I'll have to help it. Putting it out of its misery. Big green guy's not doing any harm to anyone. I'll leave him be. Oh, it was, it was you again. What can be done about those things? Can they even be captured, I wonder? Do we spiky things? Skull means it's dead, so it's one star. Ah! Really now? And look at that, no skull on you. So... Not one star. <laughs> the sharks fear the samurai. Actually, I have every reason to fear this shark. seems like a fairly dead shark, and I'm still getting two stars off of it. Perhaps it works differently for the big catch. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, come and have a go! Wakazachi! Appealing to a certain kind of desire to become the obese underwater samurai. Ooh, tranquilized tip. Yes. Yes. Okay, that ain't getting done automatically, it seems. Wasn't expecting even more QTEs here, but at least it's not mashed to mash to win. Could easily extract here, but do I want to go deeper while the going is good? No. How many delicious fish? Well, actually, thinking about it, my oxygen is a little low. Oh, well, here we go. And I've got backup oxygen, so that's all the more reason to be heading down. Also, new gun. No, lightning harpoon tip. I'd rather put my foes to sleep, thanks. Mm, already getting a little heavy here, though. If there's one thing Dave knows, it's being heavy. How much does a man that size get away? Then again, look, there's almost nothing in his legs. So maybe he's just a normal person, but his legs have been brought up into his body. Which throws me how limited the radius is for firing our weapon. James, what's the proc rate on this thing? A hundred percent, you say? Good. Hmm. 
<laughs> some kind of frog. An amazing type, you could even say. I mean, Amazing Frog was pretty rubbish, but on the punishment game list, I only gave it one star. It really didn't fulfill the criteria for a punishing game. Not difficult, not that punishing to play, and it didn't seem that bad to watch. All right, this is surely quite profitable for us. Might even take the opportunity to double down on some of our dishes, make them even better. I'm assuming upgrading a dish upgrades every dish you make of that type. Yeah, I'd heard that just before I went live, Rolling Ninja. Alright, sweet. Highest catch ever. Wait, 26 catch but 48 obtained. I guess obtained includes the garbage that we find, like fragments and bones and wood. Mmm, oh boy. Plenty of sushi to be had here. We like it. Bancho's going to be happy. But he's not the only person to make happy today. Hmm. I mean, I know who I want, but it's hard to argue with those skills. Nah. Nah, it's got to be Raul. I can't not take Raul. He's the closest thing to too swole to control. Maybe I'll fire the twink that we already have working for us. Shop's closed. I mean, I can't even sell my stuff. It's a bummer. But I can get myself a hush dart. I want that. I don't always find it, so I absolutely want it. It's just that magazine makes me very sad. To a mirror of my soul. That's strange. Why would I want to craft another one? Mm, heavens knows. Maybe you accidentally sell them. Anyway, it kind of wiped me out, didn't it? I, I'm unsure if liking anything helps here. Blurry out of focus pictures by Bancho. Ooh. I don't know if they can do shark sushi like that. Mm, I shouldn't be looking at this. <laughs> I'll just be sad about the lack of good sushi here at Balaton. That's alright, I'll get some good sushi next week at Budapest. Alright, silver up. Talking about. What is this, the wasabi mats? Have we even come across wasabi? Possibly, but that took me out of dealing with my phone. Oh no, I still got my phone. Wonderful. Means I can turn in my bow. Got no idea what that health bracelet does. Oh, they want even more bones. <laughs> oh man. I'm willing to entertain this for now, but this is the kind of gameplay that I generally don't like in games. Just grabbing things for the sake of grabbing them for a live service style approach. Alright, get this orange fish and I get my next reward of some kind of poison resist. We haven't found poison at all, so how could that possibly be a problem? I'll just turn in everything I can for now. I don't think I ever did that delivery shop door. Could have done it, but there was no need. As for you... What do we do about you, Kyoko? You're kind of terrible. So 
So could we hire Raul? Oh, whoa, look at the price on these people. Oh, damn. Hmm. Must have missed that massive cost that they have. 991 for you, Raul. Yuna is amazing at cooking. I would quite like you behind the counter. And surely serving at appeal don't matter if you're not out there serving things. So yeah, I should get Yone behind the counter and roll serving, but that's that's a lot of money that I don't have. I hope these people stick around. Oh, it's probably a case that you only get them for one day and then they bugger off. That would be sad. Ooh, that would be very sad. They stick around. Well, thank goodness for that, because selling this stuff doesn't go for a lot of dosh. I'd have to really empty out my inventory to afford them. All right, well, what we're really going to do today is make tons of money with a big-ass menu, so let's sell what we got. Can I really not change up the drink in the base menu, though? The norimaki and green tea. Sushi made with seaweed, vinegar, and wasabi. Uh, I'm not the world's biggest fan of wasabi. It's got to be enhanced. More money, more better. talking. Get that stuff out there. Boiled yellow bat. Mm, yeah, if it's money, I need it out there. Sorted by price, but the price goes down fairly swiftly, doesn't it? Let's get you enhanced. Maybe even enhanced some more. And then get you out. There we go. And then just auto-supply the lot of them. It doesn't really matter if we end up wasting some supplies. What's more important is to get our guests' bellies full at every opportunity. You, for example, I can enhance. And then I'll have one of you to worry about selling. And I don't even need auto supply on because we don't have anything to auto supply it with, surely. All right, let's get to work. They stick around until another red. Oh, now that's brilliant. Okay, come on then. Wow. So we opened at about 5 p.m. I'm coming with your tea, madame. Really so perfect? The thing was almost over full. Take it. Uh oh, uh oh. You don't serve tea, but I do. Serving the one that uh, the one that wants a shark head. Do we even have more shark head? I'm coming. I'm coming. Ain't no way you're getting this in time. No! My puny little legs! Ooh. Better be worth it in terms of dosh. Oh, baby! That's some cash to pull in. 801. Alright, so my goal is to buy myself the muscle man. Yeah, if only I had waiters. I can only have one, I think. I forget how I unlock more.
Did we get that challenge done? Or is that something done by today? He did say give me two days after all. I like that waterproof box. It surely just makes me money to have it. So I take it. Otherwise... Don't want to sell my weapon enhancement stuff. I do really want that swole guy, and I've got 800 quid worth of lead ore gear. Maybe we shouldn't jump the gun on that one. I should, however, make sure that I'm well equipped. Where do we even check our equipment? I can't actually remember. Where in the world was it? The box, the box, well remembered. Dash speed 30, survive for a wee bit. Damage taken down. A bit more interested in that than the dash speed. And yeah, Hush Dart, despite its very sad magazine, is what I want. Because getting my catch hole is important to me. Alright, let's have that. And I think I want to go straight down, grab Big Duff Man, his figurine, so we can sleep soundly at night once more. Feels like we're bound to run out of oil and vinegar and such before too long. how we sustainably get more of it because the croc bots seem kind of rare. This looks awfully suspicious, doesn't it? Looks like a door that could be opened. But maybe that's just my House of Da Vinci 3 brain running. I do enjoy the fact that the bottom of the sea seems to be better stocked than Tesco's. <laughs> Alright, you there. I want you. You're a normal enough fish. Seven seconds. That's all. That's all Albert Wesker can spare you. I'm going to shoot these just because there's more ammo right here. Waste not, want not. Surely better than shock. Maybe I could poison something nice and big, like a shark. Uh, made the lightest thing, then I should be able to put that in, and all is well. Oh yeah, cat. Caught one of those boomerang looking fish hole. Let's change that. You were getting very, very sleepy. What about these black fish? It's okay, you, you can say, wow, Jake, you've got really good aim with that gun. No way I'd do half as good as that, especially on console. But I understand, you're shy. You've seen my glorious slaying the spire majesty. Hello, what's your game then? Go to sleep. Oh, why thank you, Harundi! It's always nice when people make compliments out of the goodness of their heart on stream. Be quite the thing putting yourself on display like this. 
I thought that would be a, a wreck that I could use my... Well, that thingamajigger that I got off, off my friend. But no, fear's not. Ooh, how about no? How about... No. This ain't going right, come on. Ah, must have switched my weapon. Get poisoned. And <laughs> now I can serve this poisonous fish in the restaurant. Wonderful. Wunderbar. I don't know what fish is in German. If I inflate your ego anymore, it might become buoyant. I don't see the problem with that. A well-earned good ego sounds good to me. Might try and save that O2 for later if I can. Oh, especially when this is available. Um, if that's the case, I'm going to take this oxygen and leave that one behind. No, good to have portable oxygen. In that case, I'm going to drink this oxygen. I'm going to take you and leave behind the scooter thing. And I'm going to be tanked up on O2. Uh, I don't really want you, but I might have to deal with some unpleasantries regarding the Kraken man. Oh boy, we really weren't done with the little mini games here, were we? It's okay, we, we've done this in Bully before. This would be a lot easier with a mouse! <laughs> My poor dueling analogs here. Good thing I'm so good. I was in too much of a hurry to properly tell you how to use it, but you figured it out. <laughs> Your master is coming. Okay, an event will proceed that will end with you returning to the boat. Oh, that doesn't sound right. I got all this stuff to harvest out of the ocean. Also nice of this fish just to stand here and get shanked. You say pleb peripherals, but I know I know what's right for me. Oh damn, there's more ammo there. I could definitely put that big black thing to sleep. And I shall. And it's okay, we got backup oxygen. We have our blood potion. I was so dead without that blood potion. And I was so dead without that other blood potion. Holy moly. Slay this fire is so much fun, but jeez, I just want to watch it. Yeah, it was nice of it to warn you. Having so many games played where just out of nowhere it's goodbye your gaming session. Ooh, I'll have that spotted one as well, please. Mmm, shouldn't have said that. Now I'm hungry for some spotted dick. What do you mean I can't, can't have it? Oh, diddy me. What was the problem there? Why couldn't I have my... Couldn't have my thingamajigger. He said I didn't have an item, but I don't know what the item was that he was missing. Well, that completely missed. All 
right. Separate approach. What if I just bag the whole thing? No, he's not having any of that either. Okay. Hey, I got you a bit. Did I poison that big old shark, or is he gonna have my guts for garters? Right, you. I'm having none of you. Oh, whoa, whoa, you're having none of me either. Does this just not work on some fish? Or do you count as a shark? There we go. You already bombed him, you might as well finish it. That's my plan. The thing is, he's a big freaking shark! Oh, well now he's a big freaking poison shark. That's gotta count for something. Oh, but that poison wore off in no time. Finish the fight. Get off of me, get off of me. That was very impressive, Dave the Diver. Is that a tango with a whole damn shark? Huh. To what degree am I going to regret going into this fight overburdened by 12 kilograms? Probably a lot. Don't have my scuba gear either. He doesn't even say anything, it's just all in a day's work. Dump some junk. Oh, well, that, that sounds highly inappropriate. Think of all the goodies I could come back home with. I'm not scared of a dangerous situation, just give me my gun. Take a look around. But to, to, oh, okay, oxygen is going down, but look at that. A full restock. And I've still got my emergency oxygen to hand, my blood potion, if you will. And a sniper rifle. Ooh, yeah, go on then. I might be in a position where I do want to take something out at range. Oxygen around here. This isn't gonna work, is it? No, not at all. All of my video game cunning tells me to aim for its open eye, or just get blasted. Oh god, that would break some bones. The gun, huh? Oh boy. Are there indications of where it's breaking through? Yes, yes there are. Thump, thump. So I assume I'm going to get there, shoot its eye, and then it's going to blast me back once more. But I absolutely am shooting you in that eye. Ah, second shot. Whiffs.
and I'll save the ammo for the next shot that I'm with. Although I didn't come this far not to take the goodies. Look at that. Long distance scuba. Blasting me back, but I am out of ammo here. Eat it. Oh, don't tempt me. I will, however, top up on the O2 right now. Simply because there's even more O2 there, and I don't know what surprises he's going to have up his tentacles when I get close. Maybe I need to get close and just... Oh, hey, hey! Less of that! Clever beast. These tentacles barely hurt, though. I guess they're assuming that you don't have any upgrades at this point. Cool. Easy money, but it'd be a shame if we don't carve something off of you. Oh man, oh man, do we even have space for all of this? Please tell me I do. Yeah. Good lord, I don't know what it's like to swim 60 kilos encumbered, but I think that's what Dave is managing. Oh man. I haven't had any need for a light so far, so that does seem a little odd, but oh well. Point is, we came back with a huge haul. Ooh, you know, the net gun is almost more tempting than the tranquilizer gun. But the tranquilizer gun worked on slightly more things. I just don't know why I couldn't carve up that big black thing that I tranquilized. Anybody know what I was lacking for that? Spider-Man's strongest villain is Kingpin. Have you seen the size of the lad? Oh, very much so. Kingpin's Arcade was one of the arcade places in Adventure Island, Florida. And it had an in-the-groove 2 machine. Oh, it was amazing to play on. It's a shame it was a million degrees in there. God, it was hot. Oh, that's a lot of, lot of meat. Bancho seems happy. I'm happy. Everyone's happy. You cannot carve up sleeping fish. They need to be dead. Aww. All right, Bancho. What can I do with this giant thing? Oh, my God. He hauled that whole thing up. Impressive. <laughs> Ammonium chloride that helps it float gives it an awful stench. Mm. It's alright, we learned about cooking krakens and dungeon meishi. No, no, I need to make money tonight, Bancho. I need to hire that swole guy. If 
you could just trim off the neck beard there, Dave the Diver. You yeah, maybe it wouldn't look so out of place here. Restaurant should put their customers first. Uh -huh. Just like how I put the chat first in my streams. First in the firing line. He poured me hot green tea. He was working hard. He was friendly. Aww. Ain't that nice. I mean, usually when individual staff at a restaurant are mentioned, it's about how awful they were, but occasionally it's a good one. I think the rule of thumb is it's about nine to one good things said to uh, bad things said to good. I don't think I ever dreamed of eating a tentacle as a child. I dreamed of living such a life that I could have macaroni cheese whenever I wanted it. And now that I can, I barely ever eat it. Because it's such a mess to clean up the pot afterwards. <laughs> it's freaking hands. Oh man, the the characters are so lovable in this game. You'd think the recruiter at the end wouldn't be lovable, but she gets the work done. Clearly, your new dream is to have as much mac and cheese as you want while other people clean it up. Well, I'd need to cook it though. Nobody cooks it like me, except maybe mother. But mother didn't think to put meat in it. Why not? It just makes it so much better. <laughs> uh, they made a great call not having voice acting in this game as well though. Even if it was great, it's, it's so much easier to scroll through this than just hear people talking to me. The advent in voice acting in games, what a mistake. Alright, time for a beer, but could we not pet the cat? <laughs> Power walking day. I'm not even sure if he's any faster than regular walking. Oh man, he's great. We'll have to go down deeper. Yes. I can taste the progress. This looks really cozy. Oh. I thought the visitor D-Day was yesterday. I was worried that that little cutscene would overlap with it and fail it. But clearly the game is too clever for that. I don't know how you get drunk off of beer. The alcohol content is pathetic. Although I know all about getting drunk off of whiskey. I've had some in ages. Maybe I'll have some nice whiskey tonight. <laughs> oh man, that brings back some childhood memories. Oh, my best friend way back in primary school couldn't enter water without vomiting. And having his nosebleed for that matter. What a guy. There's some really high ABV beer. Yeah, I wouldn't know because I do not like drinking beer. It's spirits only for me, although I have recently found some very good wines. Maybe time to upgrade your equipment. Don't you tell me what to do. I've got a very important person I'm trying to hire right now. Under management, right? 
Yeah, it's not showing here, but we'll get them hired this evening. Hopefully they can be put to work immediately. Hungary is surprisingly cheap and good wine. Well, it's not really surprising that it's cheap. And it's not really surprising that it's good either. But the Takai wine here in Hungary, not the dry stuff, but the sweet stuff, is just right for me. Gotta grab ourselves another waterproof box. This is the secret to our success. The charms are fine. I like the hush dart. Wish I could grab a new melee weapon, though. The weapon shop, why are you not giving me melee items? Is that too much to ask? I cannot be tempted by these. We need to make them... Uh, we need to keep the money to hire the staff. Hmm. Do I have any chance of affording that, by the way? Even if I sell my goodies here... Maybe I could sell some lead. There hasn't been much indication that I need a ton of lead. Don't know if I can see how much the potential high res cost, but I think together they were about two grand. Don't think I'm going to have that on hand no matter what I salvage up, but the option's there. The option is certainly there. Yeah, Lefroig is not to my taste. Certainly had a bottle or two of Lefroig in my time. But I like sweeter whiskies, sherry cask, oloroso. Mm. Oh, dearie me, I don't think you're going to be tranquilized quite so easily. <laughs> oh boy, when do I get a grenade launcher? Oh. Ooh. a real fight. Oh, so it's got a good tune. It's got the boss intro. All right, have at. This could be a little tricky. I don't think he cares about being put to sleep. No, probably not at all. I mean, they're in him now, but uh, they're just dinking off of him, right? Clearly, I need better gun. For the situation. That'll do. Ooh, nice charge attack. Also, now I see why our pal Cobra was telling me to upgrade my gear. Fortunately, I was way ahead of him. I don't need no video game journalist level difficulty around here. gun, though. Yoink. Tool her up. Grab whatever else there is and then carry on. Yeah, no need for more ammo here, but some O2 wouldn't go amiss. I know I've got the stuff that I can drag around, but full refresh would be welcome. Ah, didn't I just say we don't play on game journalism mode? I'm sorry, Bane, but you have to admit, your people are trash. We do have a games journalist within the community. Hey, there we go. Seems a little premature. I don't need all of this, but I'll take it if it's going, because I want to go deep. Yeah, if there's anything Worms Armageddon has taught us, that, that you can have explosives underwater. Don't forget Aqua Sheep. 
That thing was murder to, uh, to control, though. The red-toothed trigger fish. Does it have red teeth? Is it easily triggered? I like a game that teaches me something, but this game is just introducing more questions than answers. <laughs> it's like digital hex. This game is such unadulterated fun. Not just fun, but zen. It's so many good things. Controls well as well, even though the controls take a bit of getting used to for me. It seems really weird for X to be lining up your shot and then R2 to be taking the shot, but maybe that's on me for not editing the controls. Too used to it now to go away from it. But yeah, you know, this has that kind of Wi-Fi rush, uh, hi-fi rush magic. You know, someone has just made a game because this is what they want to make. Although it was made by a whole studio, wasn't it? Either way, there were some great minds behind it, and many good decisions were made. Even though they wouldn't make sense from a modern game development standpoint, dare I say. Alright, come back, I want that double oxygen, just in case things get a little hairy as we go deep. Get deployed, get filled with all my stuff. Give me back a touch of that. I want to drop in the fish while the going is good. It's 3.8 kilos. Yikes. Do I have enough space for that? I do not. Give me that. Drop in you. And then we're up to cool 10. Yoink. Double air. Double good. Yeah, I heard about the expansion just before I went live today. Good news. How's that crossover going to be? Also, when is it? I highly suspect, unless it's coming out very soon, we're not going to be seeing it on stream. But that's okay, I don't, I don't feel an obligation to stream absolutely everything. If anything, I'm even happier if I stream a game not to completion and other people go, well, that's cool, I'm going to play it myself. I might love streaming, but I absolutely adore games. And part of adoring something is simply sharing it. Golf Club? You think, you think Dave the Diver is much of a golfer? It's not called Dave the Golfer. I've been golfing before, I've never taken to it. I, I don't get a lot of catharsis out of it. Too much of a tonk to the connection. You are not finishing Dave in a week, so we should... Oh, it's coming out in a week? Bloomin' heck. Well, that's all the more motivation to pace this accordingly so that we can enjoy the dredge crossover. Oh man, everything just comes together. Oh, on top of that, um, uh, I'm heading over to Budapest for a week. So by the time I'm back, I should be plenty ready to enjoy that. Right, you are not going to fall asleep on me, but I don't have a way of killing you particularly well, do I? I still want that ammo that's right behind you though, so don't mind me, yoink. Uh oh, uh oh. Back off now. Am I going to be able to get deep enough with my current equipment? I might not be able to follow the signal well enough. Let's get away from you. I'm even going to recharge my oxygen here. No. No, it's a huge recharge. I don't want to waste that. I can always take my one of my two oxygen tanks if I really need to. Ah, well. I think now we know why we got the... Hang on, is that thing even going to come to me? Huh, okay. Perhaps not. Now we know we got that headlamp then. However, this depth is critical. Flashlight gives off a special kind of light, makes tube worms briefly hide. Right, so I might be able to go to where we need to go, or I might get Dave the Diver killed. Dave seems like a man is up for anything, so we're going to recharge our oxygen, and then we're going to use our two O2 tanks to make our way to the signal. So 
those are the big black things that I couldn't carve up while asleep. That's a shame. And they're also too big to tangle up. It's a shame that I have to kill some of the things. Imagine taking back a whole live shark. Imagine how fresh that would be. Also, oh, oh, okay. Well, let's focus on the signal first, lest we cause ourselves too many problems. Ah, extraction point here. Excellent. Hunk would be proud. Also, tiny little fish like you think you can take me on. I am many times your size, little bitey fish. And for that, you will be decorating the dinner table. Fortunate slowly getting drowsier whilst big, very hungry sushi-eating man just stalks you around. Can't be pleasant for you. Also, excellent opportunity to just drink my O2. I'm assuming it's stored in liquid form in there. Scottish man in Hungary is sad. He cannot eat things alive. <laughs> Has nothing to do with being in Hungary, probably. What is this now? Can mine special minerals? Okay, I guess I'll just eat this, grab it, and ooh, oh, we're getting Harvest Moon. Now. Oh, oh, it was a weapon, not a an additional thing. Also, you look... You look fun and... Ah! How could I miss? Oh, I miss! Well, that ain't right. Two worms will shrink away. Alright. They hate UV. You don't have one. Oh, you already have one. I absolutely do. Let's go. Don't need these half light tentacle things. Oh my god, I would not be going down here. This is how you end up dying in Nutty Putty Cave. What have we here? Okay, well, I'll take it regardless. I appear to be dying. Let's get in and out with no messing about. Okay, we had this situation in Subnautica, right? You just gotta tough through it, even if your lungs are being crushed out the size of tangerines. Yeah, yeah, you had me come back up to the boat. Poor Dave doesn't feel so good. Oh, okay, right. They smart. I don't want to come back this empty-handed, though. Perhaps if I swim up to not quite so critical depth. I could still catch a few more fit. Whoa, what is this? A living sea snake. Bitten creatures have a chance to be poisoned. It's not a lot of poison, though. It barely seems worth the time. Mm, I want more of that stuff, but... Wasn't I able to... get better minerals of that other thing? Oh, I bet I left it on the other side of the... Um... The other side of all those little tangly things. Alright, get whipped on. Even though that poison does like nothing. I wonder if the poison damage stacks. Mmm, tasty.
Yeah, if only it stacks like Slay the Spire or Dominions 5. Oh, soon I'll have to start saying Dominion 6. Very soon, in fact. Damn, they took major poison resistance. Well, my gun's out of ammo, might as well take a regular gun. We've got some backup O2, so I feel like I feel like braving the critical depths a bit more. We got space. Would it not be venom, not poison? That depends. For all we know, it's a poisonous coating, not a venomous injection. Let's not make pres Oh man, there was ammo here anyway. Uh now I'll now I want my old gun. Get off of me. I don't know if getting three star also covers lower numbers of stars, but I'm going to assume so, considering that you didn't show up as something new. Woo! Easy now. What are you playing at, Sunshine? Oh! You can be killed! Apparently. I, was I actually killing you there? It was show damage, so I'm inclined to believe the answer is yes, but then now it is happening. Let's illuminate the way. What else do we have down here? You know what we have? We have almost certain death. Let's get out of here while the going is good. And the going has been good. Maybe I shot you instead. But I punctuate your life a little more. Poison is a toxic substance. Venom is injected. Exactly, so poison bite seldom makes sense unless your teeth are coated in poison rather than Simply injecting it. But you know what? People know what you mean, so sometimes it's just not worth being a pedant. Yeah, we got people around here who know all about being that. Come on, I want that fish! Critical depth or no critical depth, you're taking a dive! Hmm? Come on. Oxygen is just a number, but I've forgotten where the extraction point is. Wow, that was the difference between how much I can mash versus holding it down. Ugh, annoying. I don't want to mash. Turn my hand into mush. Okay, there's the extraction point. We're good as gold. And this is a hefty amount to bring back. Ah. Like the extra gold means I don't need to sell off my let reserves in order to afford my very own swole waiter. <laughs> Microphone, amethyst, and the Rosetta Stone. How hard could it be? <laughs> God, I need a to-do app. Fortunately, I've got pen and paper. I actually got a listy thing, which can be torn off one page at a time, and it's two lists. One says to do, and the other says to buy. Very handy. 
Holy smokes, look at all this meat! Yeah, no, no wonder Bancho is happy. Oh yeah, there's also Steam Notes! <laughs> Freaking! <laughs> Legally distinct Ash Catchem, Satoshi is here. Boss card acquisition. I did a what now? Ah! SSR card get. Hmm. Actually, this might be a way to know where to find certain goods. Credit to this game, it hasn't been too much fetch questing. Not in the same way that Dredge has been. Yeah, how much meat could have John Watson had? Mmm. What was it again? 15,000 calories on a human body? That doesn't seem right. Maybe it's 150,000 calories. I don't know. There's a five there and a thousand there. By the way, Jake, each boss dish can only be served once if you're a collector. Well, I'm not, so too bad. I should introduce myself. Da da da, Udo. Yeah, good for me. Another crazy character. <laughs> That's what we need in this game, even more mechanics. Alright, like I said, it's too charming to hate. Uh, you're not wrong though, it is high time that I got that upgrade. Do I think I can afford the diving suit upgrade and still get my staff this evening? I don't think I can. I might have a somewhat conservative dive tonight. Hey, look at that. Very nice. There we are, up to silver. As we belong. Yeah, what's the point in collecting when we could be eating? I don't collect whiskey, I drink whiskey. From my collection. <laughs> oh, Udo, I can annoy you. Sometimes I do like to have perfect save files for games, but I have to really love the game. And they tend to be games that are hard to perfect. Patrician 4 always comes to mind. I might be one of the only people to have ever had a perfect game. Nah, that can't be right. There's got to be Germans out there obsessive enough for it. Can I not really, really not get any more teacups of the like? I suppose not. Amethyst microphone, see people stone tablet. Yeah, I'll take it easy because I really want those better servers and kitchen people tonight. I have a 100% save of Gran Turismo 1 and 2, OG for PlayStation. Oh, Grand Theft Auto 3 was a game I 100%ed. Uh, not in the traditional sense, but I got 100% of everything you can get uh, without doing the first optional mission. As in, the first time you're ever let off the leash, I think that's after you collect Maria. I think that one's forced. But then beyond that, what have we here? Can I just take that and take my own one back? There we go. Uh, from then on, doing everything. Now, it was a bit tricky getting out of Portland with the bridge broken, but it, there are several ways to do it. You can actually jump that bridge physically. But what you can also do is you can use a glitch to run between a wall and a car to phase through the wall, and then run through the, uh, the underwater road. In the end, I did both. Right, you, come on. Come and have a go. Dave's hungry. Dave is this close to leveling up, and you look like you're just the right amount of EXP. How do you 100% of games, says Wiggler? Well, first you have to define what 100% is, and that might be different things to different people. But in games with collectibles, usually you just knock off every single collectible on the list. That seems a simple enough way to do it. So what was it in Grand Theft Auto 
three. There were a bunch of collect cars for the garages things to do. A hundred hidden packages. All of the side missions, like the rampages. Um, do the maximum amount of ambulancing. Unlock the red cabbie. I think there was some kind of tracker for the vigilante missions. That game was so overflowing with content. The game is aged like milk, but when you don't have modern open-world crime games to compare it to, holy moly, it is something else. I'm gonna take the O2 while I'm here, I doubt I'll come back. 100%ing Dave would mean maximum level of each dish, which means literally hundreds of days of truffle grinding. So note that, yeah, this is not the kind of game I would want to 100%. I can't think of a game I've been inspired to 100% in a long, long time. Aside from attrition. Avorion kind of tempted me, but I couldn't get a good definition for 100%, and whatever it would be would be horrible, so... In the end, it didn't happen. I did, however, fully automate my success in Avorion. Just wait till I catch you. Well, it's a shame I ran out of bullets. Oh, hang on, here's a fresh load of bullets. Well then... Are you going to keep moving like that? What's the range on this gun, anyway? Insufficient. Okay, so I can't put you to sleep. Maybe I could corner you, however. Oh, you're trying to show me something. Ah. Maybe in the end it's a friendly thing, but my first instinct was to eat it. Dom 5, I don't think, is a game you could 100%. You'd have to make your definitions for it, though. Maybe 100%ing DOM 5 is having one of each unit. And every unit has been upgraded to a commander, and every commander has maximum... And let's go. Maybe every commander has maximum magic paths. And you collect every unique piece of equipment. Okay, you gotta define it first. I had to define what perfection was in Patrician 4, for example. Because in a game that is partially a city builder, how do you build the cities such that they can be called perfect? Well, I found a way. Turns out the city wall is merely a suggestion. What do you mean, good? That was perfect! Name the flaw with any of that. Alright, let's check out what this is. Win with every nation in every age, but then it would have to be against certain things. Against every nation every time on impossible AI mode? But then people are saying, ah, oh, you're just playing against AI. Play against people. <laughs> then you'd have to fight against the best players. Okay. Yeah, like I said, you need to define it. I was really wanting to eat that thing. I also wasted a shot of my valuable trank gun on it. I haven't even played every vanilla nation, either in multiplayer or single player, of Dominions. Even perfect commanders are fluid, exactly. Wish exists. So even if you could keep them unaged, and then, I don't know, gift of health all possible afflictions away, well, they'll still get horror marked eventually, and there is no way at all to remove a horror mark. You can finally remove a curse from the game, but you can't remove a horror mark. Kind of crazy that Wish can get rid of a curse, but not a horror mark. Horror marks are horrible. You just know that that commander is going to die, and you don't know when. At least if you knew when, you know, like, disease. Or even aging. You don't know exactly when, but you know that the disease check is in winter. Oh, hello. Yes! Gun enhancement! 
That's what I'm talking about. Did it enhance my gun immediately? Gun is now level 2. But... Uh, did it really get any better? I don't know about that. I was hoping for a larger capacity. There's precious little info about horrors in Dominions, I've noticed, Rip. What information are you wanting that isn't there? There's a pretty good Dominions wiki page about horrors, explaining how they work, what they all are. If you want to know how to kill them, you're going to need some very impressive counters, because my god, they have counters for all of your counters. They're largely ethereal, they're not going to morale wipe, they're resistant to a lot of different things. They hit multiple times with uh, untyped damage, so you can't resist it. Alright, I think I'm killing this shark. Don't care if I have to use brutal gun here. Where'd that shark go? Come on. Welcome to Dave Jones' locker. Easy as that. Oh boy, just like that, we are overweight. Dave Jones Locker is Lord Ufak backs home and he was bigger. Oh man. No one's gonna know who Lord Ufak Fak is. He's a pain in the arse boss is who he is. His boils have such annoying hitboxes. I do not have good memories of fighting him. And he's still not the worst minigame in... Well, minigame. I guess bosses are kind of minigames in that game. He's still not the worst in Donkey Kong 64. A rare case of a childhood game of mine that I have not streamed. Because it's really, really bad. <laughs> uh, well dodged. I think, I think it was actually an underwater minigame for Diddy Kong. I feel like you're inside a giant barrel having to shoot targets. But oh my days, that one would come down to the last second every time I tried it. We're talking some very ancient memories here, which might not be... Might not even be real, could well be fabricated. That's what I remember. What are we looking for, anyway? A microphone beneath the shipwreck. And a stone slab from the sea people, an amethyst from the depth. So maybe, I know I'm already very overweight, but maybe if we go underneath the shipwreck here, we're going to find that. Yes, Donkey Kong 64 had the jack-in-a-box boss. He would jump from square to square. You'd play as Trixie Kong, trying to evade them. And I don't know the logic of how you hurt him, but you get him on certain squares and you hit him from below. And it's a huge pain, and it was an even bigger pain on the boss rush minigame. I think I 100%ed that game as a kid. Well, it's Donkey Kong, so it was like 105% or whatever. They, they don't like doing just straight up 100. 100%ed Diddy's Conquest as well. Okay, we, we cannot carry a single thing more, so off to the extraction zone we go. This is the afternoon, so that's our final catch for today. This is so sad. Such a good game! I was wondering how on earth this game could get such immense critical reception. And I'm seeing it. I don't know what kind of person would not enjoy this game. I bet Hamster would give Hamster this game and uh, he'd lay into it, no doubt. But it's just a good, fun game, and fun in so many different ways. What do you think about Days Gone? Do I know anything about Days Gone? Oh, that's that uh, kind of open-world zombie game where you're on a motorbike. I picked it up a few days ago, but I haven't had a chance to play it yet. I'm wondering if we could scratch some itches that State of Decay 2 has left. I mean, I'm still hungry for more State of Decay 2, but 
It's just too easy a game. What an eternal problem. Yeah, Dark Young played through it. Seemed a little too character focused for my liking, but what do we know? Use L to dash a short distance. Ooh, I tend to like that. More so in platformer games, but... No oxygen is used. Uh -huh. Surely we don't need the 10% less damage taken thing. Actually, mm, we did already equip it. I'll keep the reduced damage. What I don't need is a Sea People bracelet. I don't know how long a certain period of running out of oxygen is, but... Surely we just don't run out of oxygen and we're fine. Now, what about that weapon upgrade? How do I upgrade the guns? Do they just upgrade by what I find? Mm, nothing indicating that it's tier 2. Maybe they only upgrade during a single dive. It's a shame. I'd, I would like to have this have a much larger magazine. Check the app. Well, here's the weapon store app, and I don't see anything about upgrades. Diver doesn't upgrade my guns. It does my harpoon gun, but that's not what I'm looking for. I bought State of Decay 2 right when the Dark Side mod broke because of an update. I was inspired. <laughs> the concept of being to Spain. Wait, go to crafting. Is that an app? I don't see a crafting app. I don't see a crafting thing here. Yeah, I somewhat suspect I haven't unlocked it yet. Give me my rewards. Okay, can anyone remember how much those staff cost? Because I want both of them, and they're going to cost me an arm and a leg. The the cool guy, I think, costs 666, and I think the other one costs 1,200, so surely I have enough. Weapon shop, click on weapon X. Weapon shop, click on weapon. But this is just create it. I want to upgrade it. Hmm. 1,566. Well, if that's actually... What it is, I could be a little bit off. Well, you know what? Just in case... Oh, the shop is closed. Well, we'll have to make do with what we have. Very well. Back we go. To the sushi bar. I even have to drive the boat. We do everything here. serve it very slowly? Can I can I destroy it? Why would you throw away such a carefully prepared dish? What are you thinking? Okay, I tried. Transparent flesh, white dots. Mmm. Had a refrigerator all this time. Ooh, okay, that 
could be money right in the nick of time. I want my swole waiter. What are you doing, Dave? Ah! Oh, man. <laughs> really is getting a bit cook served delicious in here. All right, no more lukewarm drinks for our guests here. And he is right there, the tongue does not lie. I don't think it's possible to say something tastes bad when it tastes good. Right, staff, first and foremost, get me my swole guy. Oh, <laughs> no! No! They're gone! This is just not right. Ugh, alright, I guess I'm putting out another TV ad. Maybe I should do an internet ad? Oh wait, here they are. Phew! Phew, okay, so surely I can just grab the two of you. Oh wait, roll is much more expensive than I thought. Thank God we got that then. Jake, they're all, they're chefs, not servers. What? I don't think I understand. Couldn't they be whatever I tell them to be? So if I grab... Let's start with Raul, actually. I'm going to select you. Hire you. Oh, but I don't have to pay you too much. Power comes from muscles. Very good. So I shove you in the dining area. But could I have put you... Mm, ooh, there's training as well. Uh, wow, that makes you much better. Maybe I don't have to fire you, simply train you. What would happen if I trained Raul? Whoa! It's a bit less metal, but very cool. He's also got that light bulb over his head. I hope that means he'll still work. All right, let's have Kyoko be. No, I'm not really, not really keen on keeping you around. But yeah, go on. Training's hardly that much, is it? Yeah, go on. And now I absolutely want to hire Yone. And you are going into the kitchen, and hopefully that serving and procuring will put you in good stead. All right, that was a lot to invest in our restaurant, but surely it'll be worth our while. Can I speak to you? Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure all energy comes from the muscles. A lot of it's in the mind. Huzzah. Can you train Yone? I suppose I could. She already seemed pretty brutally good. I didn't want to uh, run into a situation where I find out that training actually stops them from being able to work that day, so let's not do that just yet. We've got loads of points here. I don't see a reason why we can't just research everything. Good. It doesn't play the animation every time, which is great, because it would certainly get tiring if it did. And the beer is worth actual money. Now that's good news to see. Also, jellyfish sushi. And I've got a lot of jellyfish going here. Let's vastly increase its value. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's better than good. It's not half bad. I worry about using up all my salt. But go on then. Enhance those flavors, enhance those prices. Alright, I'm gonna shove you onto the menu. Wait, maybe I should 
shove a set amount onto you. The remaining food will be discarded. That doesn't sound good. That's sad enough to have three of you on the menu. Otherwise, I just shove the rest on and have them auto thingamajigger. As long as it's high on the list, it's bound to be good. Hmm, not keen on enhancing you just yet. I feel like it should definitely be a dedicated auto supply button. Okay, in that case, let's finally get the place opened, although I don't understand the interior stuff. Does it actually do anything? I don't want to spend this money. I'm not here to pimp my sushi place. It looks fine the way it is. Alright, activate! As long as my waiters wait, surely I can spend all of my time serving drinks. Thank you, the, inter the interior is just cosmetic. That's what I need to know. Green tea? It's only worth one coin, so it seems like a waste of my time. There you go. How is that perfection? Oh yeah, don't think I could be keeping up with this on my own. Anybody who's able to keep an eye on the waiter and waitress do they move at the same speed? So, poor so about 20% of it is foam. Uh, how? Oh wow, that was terrible. If it isn't obvious enough, I, uh... I don't think I've ever poured a beer. After all, why would I? What's the problem here? I think we're out of ingredients? You won't be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Grind and refill it. How? Okay. Madness. What am I hiring these waiters for? Oh, good lord. How's that for income? Wouldn't have made that if I didn't have my well-trained compatriots. It's alright, we have the wasabi ready for the next day. You are right, my friend. I do want to upgrade my equipment, and I want to check out all these posts. And that is stuff we'll do at the next time. This game is so good, which is all the more reason that I do not want to grind it into the dust. But man, is it good. Um, yeah, that'll be it for today. I was contemplating something else, but I already ran some Da Vinci earlier on. I'll be back tomorrow with a fairly sizable weekly one-shot. Chance of Saner? Sanar? Sanar? Something like that. A language game that failed the long play vote, but somebody said, here's a weekly one shot for it. And that is how you game the system. So until I am back with that tomorrow, it's a cheers and a cheerio.